Oh, you're forget oh. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's a, it's a, this is an important step towards re- the actual renewable energy, and not the kind that's like. Uh, even though, even though, actually, I, I was reading an article the other day where it said that. Um, actually, today I think that we've actually uh, gotten to the point where renewable energy sources are being built and produced now like more than they've ever been and also they have outpaced other energy sources like this this the last couple of years oh, like, it's you know, accelerating yeah. for sure and so it's like just the fact that it's like not only fusion technology is coming in a way but like we've gotten what solar panels have gotten like over the last couple exponentially decade, like exponentially like super cheap and uh what was the other one that i saw that like um uh, the windows, like where the people, like they have a couple companies working on those actual windows that serve as also not only as like they're transparent, but they're also can function as solar panels. Dude, so I was could, thinking like, about that the other day, like, building. like double pane windows mm-hmm. like in the middle. You have some sort of like circuit that catches sunlight. That's, right? that's what they've been keep... working on essentially. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Right. It's like that one. And then I've seen the concepts too, for it's like, you know, um, like embedding like photo cells, like uh, photoelectric cells, like in paving roads like pay, like paving an actual road imagine like the roads like that one road that runs through the center of australia that's like the longest stretch of road and if that were just like a, an entire thing was, like, a solar farm. <laughs> well, well they tried be unreal yeah they did the solar road i think it was in <laughs> france they did like one kilometer yeah but it, it just amazing. got it got well it got beat to shit and just yeah, couldn't withstand the traffic yeah it's like it's the fact that it's like yeah it's w- it's like road technology hasn't even come that far. I feel like we, we mastered the road technology in like the 50s and 60s. Well, it's I'll not, tell you. Sorry, road, mastered road, it. Here's the thing, though. Road technology is like, especially in places that have winter, road technology is only ever going to surpass. Like, it's never going to surpass plow technology. Because anything you put on the road that's raised or anything, snow plow just shears it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it's like a, nothing could take a beating like that. It's just nuts, like the amount of abuse that a, roads take. Like, there I don't was know a summer that the Coquihalla, they were trying these, like, little glass bulbs that they embedded into the road. So when you actually drove down the Coquihalla, it, like, lit up. It looked like a runway. It was amazing, especially at night because it's so dark. Incredible. You, every, you were like, this is this is the future. All roads should have this. First <laughs> snowfall, the snowplow went, just like, bing, 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 all <laughs> off. Like, off, yeah. one Fantastic. single thing. So it's like, we got to improve snow t- plow technology, too, or else we're just, like, the, the big, big plows hold. Holding back big roads right now. You know what? So, if, you, if you could power a road, though, let's say you could, could harvest energy through the road and oh. transmit energy through the road, you could just keep have a heated, heated road that never collected snow. Boom. Uh, yeah. Gone. Cool. Or you just keep it above. Just keep it above freezing. You wouldn't even have to heat it, right? Just just enough where it's like well, I'd be heating it. Well, you'd have yeah. to heat it. I guess to so. Keep yeah. It above freezing. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, heat it just above freezing. And we, yeah. we got the deal. We got a winner. So now we now we are on the uh, the verge of, of fusion technology within a decade or so. When do you think we'll get time travel technology? Oh God! How in far is that in our lifetime? Where would you go back? Where would you go back? That's that's a that's a hypothetical. You, you, well, I, you, the hypothetical you, is: Can I go back and then come back again, or if I go back, am I back and I'm not coming back to this timeline? Oh, can I just set the time travel rules? Got, yeah, any parameters. Know. Because that's a tough question. Uh, I'm going to say... Mm, shit. That's tough. Shit. For this, let's say you... you, you ha- <laughs> no, you got to be able to come back. Let's tell yeah, yeah, okay. It's not you fun unless come back. you're yeah, stuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to okay. be able to. Yeah, yeah. You, you go come back. for visit, whatever. Elon <clears throat> Musk's like, hey, I built... A t- <laughs> now, here you go. <laughs> this is the first... This is your first trip, not your only trip. Well, f- let's say first oh, and only. This is your only trip. First and only yeah. trip. Man, that's ah, tough. That's, that's too hard. Where are you going? Can I go now? Can I go anywhere in the timeline or just anywhere, my timeline? Anything. Just oh, my time. No, anywhere you want. I can jump. Anywhere, I can go anywhere. Oh, yeah, no, you go I could anywhere. Go to, I, could go to, I, could go to, I could go to dinosaurs. I could go back yep. all the way to the dinosaurs. If you wanted to, yes. Yeah, go, and then you never come back. Go that's fight a T-Rex, Velociraptors. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd be, finest killing machines. Like. You could, like, you could be, <laughs> this, you could give us a very selfish answer and just go back just far enough to make a great investment, and then come back and be a billionaire. Nah, but but that'd be cool. No, you can only you can't make any changes. You just want to witness something. Oh, these guys, yeah, you, you can, can only yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you can only go back. Anything? You can only see. Yeah. Can I be seen, or am I like wearing some type of invisibility? No, it doesn't matter. You back can and not seen. to affect the timeline yep. of the. I can see. I, I can see an experience. Yep. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm um, going back to the Younger Dry's Impact to see what really happened. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> and then I'll write a book with Graham Hancock. Nice. So 10 million copies. We'll be doing really good. Imagine it was everything they said. If you watched uh, Ancient Apocalypse yet, just imagine everything they said. Fragmented comet, comet vaporizes the ice caps, causing a global cataclysm or cataclysm last a thousand years. Mm. Pretty wild. Yeah. All right. That's cool. That's pretty cool. A little nerdy, but that's cool. Super nerdy. I, think, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'd always want to. I think I would go back to like 1995. <laughs> Maybe sit ringside uh, in a Mike Tyson. Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson iPhone? and uh, yeah, yeah, Peter McNeely. You know, get some clips for the boys, right? Have your Before iPhone out. Yeah, well, I gotta get you know, film it. I mean, right? I'm, I'm like, fucking shit, boys. Hey. I'm, ta- I'm time traveling. Our Snapchat blew up. <laughs> Look where I'm at. Hurricane. I'm Pete, Pete McNeely and Tyson. Nine to five boys. Woo! I'm going back to ninety one. Ninety one. Not that far back. But oh yeah, ninety one. Russia. Monsters of Rock. Gonna watch Metallica. <laughs> One Crazy big show. Fucking, oh my god, the, the the biggest show. Was that the biggest show? Well, the coolest fucking show. There's like over a million people there. Was there that many? Oh yeah, dude. Oh, that'd be sweet. Imagine being in that crowd in Russia where they're playing Creeping Death and everyone's chanting "Die." <laughs> oh, that'd be the greatest fucking. Thing and wasn't it? I just pulled it up. It was not in Russia though, was it? Uh, England, Mas- Moscow. There's a Moscow. Monsters of Rock. Castle Donington, England, 80, 80 oh. to 96. I'm oh, telling you right now. But I'm also fucking... branched into other locations. Yeah. Soviet 1991, Union. Moscow. There's like a, there's the video of them fucking playing Creeping Death with the entire fucking crowd chanting dies. One of the greatest things ever. Fucking oh, ACDC, Metallica, Motley Crue. Yeah, but it'll be, that's not, the, hey, that's the other thing I'd want to go back. Because if I go back and watch the original ACDC. Bon Scott, that'd be amazing. Like a whole lot of Rosie. Like high voltage, like fucking, oh, a whole lot of Rosie's one of the greatest. Stuff. That's fucking, uh, Let There Be Rock, I think, that album. But Bon Scott, no Brian Johnson bullshit. Dan, where are you going? Let's see, where am I going? Uh, Who are you going to meet? So where you, can, you can look, you just look, right? Or you're just, you're well, you there. can go and talk, but nothing you do is going to change anything. So you can't go and make a change. Oh, so you can just go to whatever. Yeah, so say like uh, you could go to the nuclear bath, the first nuclear bath, so you'd be talking to open. Go back in time and stop Braden from deep throwing his bottle again, <laughs> buddy. I don't waste a drop. Oh. Uh, Think of your finger and then. <laughs> okay, next time. Let's see. I'd go back. I'd go back. I don't know exactly a date, but I'd go back to bubble era, nineteen uh, eighties era, like Japan. Like I would go back to like Akihabara and or Shibuya, like nineteen eighties, like for what? Prime like, bubble what's, era. What's that though? Like, fucking party, dude! Like that's the that's the, the prime. <laughs> like are we talking like, like phone parties or what are we talking? We're talking about, talking about party, like party. awesome disco parties, like the fucking the old school like, like, Japanese stuff, like, light up like club light 54? up dance floors, like all that. Oh, that's like club fifty four. Yeah, man, that's just but in Japan, tight shit. Yeah, like, so, you really good. Good. so you could do in Japanese coke is what you're saying. The good one, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, they serve it warm. <laughs> that's an answer I lean. Was kind of, would have actually no. That's not too surprising there, Dan. I think I thought maybe it'd be Thailand though, but no, bubble era well, Japan. I'd want to go see like a bubble era Japan, like a real disco thing. Like I'd I'd want to see that. That'd be <laughs> the, really dude, see it. That'd be the best. Like honestly though, think about that. If like. Because realistically, say if time travel existed, there'd be no reason why on a Friday night we couldn't travel back into the 70s and go nightclubbing and affect anything. That would be so much fun. We would affect literally But we'd nothing. be so fucking cool. We all got chest hair and shit. We'd be awesome. Yeah. Fit right in. Yep. Right? Yeah. They'd be like, this is a new song. And we'd be like, I love this song. You can't mm-hmm. tell by the way. By the way. No time. They're like, how do you know? They're like, I wrote this. I wrote it. I'm the producer. Yeah, forget the Bee Gees. Yeah. I did it first. Uh, but like you could, you could, I, I feel like there's a lot you could do with time travel and not affect anything. 
like not affect the stream. That goes against every time travel movie ever made. I think a lot of people, I think the funny thing that people like, like uh, I think the people overlook is like, yeah, it's, it's time travel, but it would also have to be space travel because technically the earth and the sun are always moving. So if you went back in time, the earth wouldn't be where you thought it was. So you'd just be like teleport into space. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.